What's up guys? This is a bird snare set that I have set up. And it's based off of a spring and deadfall weight engine. And I'll go through a little bit and explain how this was done and then show it being set off. So basically, this is a very rocky area. And it's not like a lot of places like in the woods where because we're in the desert so you don't have that soft topsoil that you can hammer stakes into so you really can't do the traditional method of taking uh, some uh, stakes and with V's on the ends or Y's however you want to look at it and then using those to as anchors since we have all these rocks here, we have to use rocks as anchors. So nothing staked in here. But I just put some rocks in the bottom, laid a stick across the top, and then put two rocks on each of those ends to weight that down. So then we can have this upward pull on that support stick, and it's not going to uh, dislodge or anything because of all the weight. It's based off of the, the typical uh, triggering mechanism where you have a toggle that wraps under the crossbar and then a uh, trigger stick which is just held from the tension being placed on the end of the toggle on one end and then pressed against something like a rock on the other. Okay, for bait. I've sprinkled some seed, bird seed down there, but I also have an apple here, a slice of an apple. It's actually tied to the trigger stick. And then I use, I carry um, plastic grocery bags to put game in so I don't get blood everywhere. So all I did was I just cut off a little piece of the handle of one, thin strip of, of thin plastic, and I wrapped that around the apple and kind of use that to help tie it to the stick because if you just use rope or paracord or bank line, it's gonna cut through the apple. The apple's gonna disintegrate, fall off, the bugs will get to it. If you use plastic, it'll stay on there a lot longer and it'll help it stay so, so the bugs can't really get to it. And um, the ends are exposed so that it's still unattractive to the the target animals they'll still see it doesn't really matter that most of it's covered with the plastic I just kind of filled in the bottom there you need enough room for the stick to drop um, it's only got about an inch but that's all it needs and I put some cross pieces there for kind of like a little platform to stand on and then I've got these other sticks kind of strategically placed to direct the bird towards the snare portion as opposed to back here where there's no snare so we got some sticks poking up and then some of these actually used to wrap the snares around and with that you want those to be very small and pointed kind of leaning forward so that they don't get caught in the snare the snare just pulls up around them and then for the snare loop itself, we've actually got, I've tied a loop up here and then run three pieces of inner strand of paracord. So I have three snare loops. One is on the back, two are on the front. One's actually on the bait itself. The other is kind of next to it. So you have, you know, three spots where a bird or animal could potentially get snared at as opposed to just one and you could tie 10 of them on there if you wanted but you certainly don't want them to get tangled up because the one that has tension on it first is the one that's going to tighten first so you don't want the animal to be standing in one and then it gets snagged on the other because that one's going to tighten the other one won't or at least it'll be a delay. So make sure that everything's clear, that these can fly up freely. Now, 
that's the actual trap set itself. The engine mechanism um, is kind of cool because it utilizes a spring snare, which is that branch right there. And it's a green branch, and I just uh, cut off some of the end of it so that it can spring easier. Tied the bank line to the end of it, and then tied another piece that runs up there, it goes around that branch, and is attached to a rock, which is hanging there. So what that's going to do is allow this thing, when it's set off, for the spring branch to flip up, which will then allow the rock to drop, because all this is under tension, which rests right there. So once that's relieved, that spring flies up, the rock drops. Now. Like I said, we're in the desert, not the woodlands. So there's no saplings, really. There's not a lot of good branches for spring snares. So this branch is only gonna go up about a foot and a half. And then it'll relax a little bit. However, with that rock being tied to it, once it goes up, the rock's gonna keep pulling it up because the rock will pull down and it'll, it'll pulley that piece of bank line so it'll draw that branch straight up. And that's going to basically allow uh, this snare to be drawn higher and held there with the weight of the rock. So the rock will be dangling down in here. The snare and the animal, once it's tightened, will be about a foot off the ground. And so it's not like in the movies where it needs to be 20 feet up in the air. It just needs to be enough off the ground so it can't touch the ground and use that as a way to dislodge itself. As long as it's 100% hanging and all of its weight is hanging, that snare is going to tighten with all of its weight and it's never going to be able to loosen when the animal takes its weight off by laying on the ground or able to chew itself out or something. So you definitely want them suspended in the air, they just don't have to be super high up. Now. I do have a, a bird that I made just out of fabric and some stuffing and stuff, which I use as a decoy sometimes, and also uh, for my traps, um, just as like an example of what will happen to a bird once it gets in there. So I'll try to set this thing off to show you how it works. Now it may not be as ideal as possible um, but let's just see what happens here so as you can see it works perfect kind of makes a mess there that all strings together but that's good because it's kind of all tightened and tangled, so nothing's going to get out. It's not a real uh, bird, obviously, so it doesn't have the weight, but that thing will probably hang six inches lower, and it'll still be off the ground. That's just a rat trap over there with some bait, secondary trap. But that's about how that'll work. So you can see nothing really changed here. The trigger stick just fell about an inch, dislodged all of that. The rock dropped. You see the spring branch pointed almost straight up. Normally it would only point barely even uh, horizontal. So it's definitely hoisted a lot higher than it would be normally. So that's, uh, that's the spring snare trap. Alright, that's it guys. Appreciate the views. Make sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.